What's up? How are you guys this week? Happy New Year! Another year in this godforsaken warehouse. But before I complain too much, let's show you guys a little bit of what's going on today. The guys have finished most of the meat orders. We're kind of back on track this week, but we had a lot of post office orders to catch up on. The other businesses, Frankie's Range Foods, mostly a lot of water kefir and pemmican orders that we were backed up on a little bit. So uh, we just got the regular uh, two pallets of meat orders here and all of the post office orders here. Uh, quite a bit, maybe 60. So if you guys have been waiting a couple days for your order, it will arrive hopefully by Wednesday or Thursday of this week. And we did run out of a couple items on Frankie's range meat. I did want to apologize for lamb testicles, sweetbreads, as well as chicken hearts. So if you guys order that, we refunded it and we'll be sending your order anyway. So just send me an email. We'll offer you a discount of maybe 5% on a future order because of the inconvenience. Or if we happen to have those items back in stock, I can include uh, some free with your order. But I did want to show you guys uh, some equipment I got last week that I'm a little bit excited about, uh, mainly for making the bars and the production stuff. So this is the mixing component of a Hobart meat grinder. And this is the largest model they have that still runs on 110 volt. Uh, so I was very happy that I don't have to get any electrical work done. It works. I just bought a couple of parts and brand new, this machine is, is very expensive. I think it's around $6,000. But what's even crazier is how expensive each of these parts and components are. Uh, so this on the floor right here is the like top part where you kind of holds all the meat. That itself, I think it was like $900 if you want to buy it separately. This whole assembly component up here, I think is about $2,000. So Hobart has some type of like monopoly on their parts. It, it's insanely, insanely expensive. I bought this like square nut that's about this big. It's about like $160 just for that little part. So thankfully that came with pretty much everything I needed and it wasn't too expensive. We also got a Hobart mixer, which is uh, substantially more than the meat grinder, but this was kind of necessary for the bars because the guys have always been, you know, mixing the best bars and the pemmican by hand. And as with the meat grinder, this is also 110 volts. So two used pieces of equipment that are working very nicely. And I said uh, last week with the uh, deli slicer, you know, it's a little more effort and it takes a lot more time to get this stuff, but I save a lot of money and I don't have to put too much work into this stuff and sa saving a lot on the labor too. So we got two nice pieces of Hobart equipment. Hopefully uh, we can use the meat grinder uh, next week to grind up all the dried fruits for uh, the new bars because we won't actually be using it for meat and the guys have already been putting this to some good use. So you know, I didn't really want to have to buy all this equipment down here. I was hoping to relocate to a new facility, but yeah, I, I keep having these uh, creative ideas. So. I was actually thinking of looking into some type of electric oven so I could start doing roast beef, but um, maybe we'll see. I'm kind of running out of space down here. So we don't really have anything new in the freezer this week, but I'll take a quick look and see if it, I get reminded of anything. So I told you guys we were out of the lamb testicles. We do have plenty of goat testicles instead. Same portion size, guys, one pound. We didn't get to try the the collagen bone broth last week, maybe we'll have time to do that this week. Flavored jerky, again, maybe we'll have time to do that this week. Same with testing out the meat granola recipe, but we'll see, I don't really know. So as I said, nothing new in stock this week. And you know, my meat suppliers are a little bit delayed with certain products, so we're gonna be missing maybe around 10 items for the next two weeks. Hopefully I can get them back in stock because you know, regardless of how many products I carry, you guys tend to want everything. And this relays back to the issue of, you know, we didn't end up getting that slaughterhouse. And when you're able to do the whole animal, whether it's cow, pig, or chicken, you have access to every single cut on every single animal. So whether you're selling the meat in like packages, like deals where they get 10 or 20 or 30 pounds of this type of meat and you can arrange it so you have a consistent inventory of everything or if they order a la carte and they pick their own individual items you're much better off but you know if i go ask you know one farm 
hey, do you have this cut of meat for sale and they haven't had it for months or this is, it's just very difficult to, to keep all the customers satisfied because I, I really do lose people based off of those individual products. So this week is actually the first week that you guys are getting jerky on Frankie Serena's meat. Although some of you have been buying it on the foods website, let me know how you like it. Every single order has it, so uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll do a giveaway on the flavor jerky in a month or two if we make too much of it. I don't know yet. Uh, so let's take a stroll downstairs. We do have a new product on organ supplements. And I was reviewing basically my bank statements about why I'm broke over the past few days. And the real culprit is uh, the refunds. And by refunds, I mean when UPS loses a package, unlike other businesses, I just basically immediately refund the customer. And it's accumulated to about $75,000 this past year. So it's a big chunk of what should be the business profit. But I don't want to be like those other businesses that just get rid of and lose customers based off of one order. Now, have I been taken advantage of because of that? Absolutely. You know, there's been plenty of chargebacks, you know, plenty of first time customers that ask for a refund and never order again. So, you know, I really don't know how much I'm getting jerked around, but you know, I like to give the customers the benefit of the doubt. And for the most part, I'm assuming that, you know, something did go wrong. And the real issue there is UPS doesn't want to help me at all. You know, uh, probably 20 to 30,000 of that is UPS error because the package didn't arrive in time and they don't compensate me at all, but whatever. The rest of the expenses were the Con Ed bill being ridiculously high, uh, the maintenance on the building, which I don't own, being ridiculous, and then probably uh, a bit in extra labor that I, I should probably be doing myself, but I'm too exhausted to do. So I've been talking about the zinc for the past few weeks, guys. We finally got it in stock, zinc picolinate. Uh, there's also zinc uh, glycinate, which you know isn't as highly available, supposedly so. If you guys aren't carnivore and you get a hair mineral analysis and your zinc levels are kind of low, this is adequate. I mean, it's basically like the bread and butter zinc supplement online if you search it on any website. This is what people are selling. And you know, if there's anything that you guys are missing, let me know. I'm actually going to do uh, my current supplement routine on Friday, so stay tuned for that and I'll go into a little more detail on the supplements. On Wi-Fi shielding, I got a couple of packages that have arrived in customs, so hopefully in the next few weeks we get some new stuff for you guys, maybe just to restock on some of the bed canopies. And if you guys have been buying the lip balm and you haven't been too happy with it, or just, really, I mean, really just any products in general, just send me an email, let me know. I should be making a new batch this week and I can always send you guys out a new one. I think that's really it for this week. Nothing too crazy. A little bit excited about the new equipment. Get to mess around with it and test it out this week and hopefully we have some new products to show you guys next week or the following week. Uh, you guys usually ask me about the farm stuff every week and I just don't think I'm gonna be able to find a property close enough that's gonna allow me to be in this warehouse and be at the farm at the same time. I mean, obviously, you know, the money solves everything. If you have a ton, a ton of cash, you can just set up and build wherever you want. But in this case, as I think I said a couple of weeks ago, because of all of the lawsuits, bank doesn't want to approve a loan. It's just a whole fiasco and I don't have enough cash flow to be comfortable opening up something else. I think I'm just going to go completely broke. So thank you guys for joining me today. Any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. You can go to frank defoncom to check out all of my businesses. Outside of that, please drop a like on the video. Leave me that comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, as I said, check out frank defoncom to support me through all of my businesses.